Welcome to Maisie Injector Company's presentation on precise chemical and fertilizer application. I'm John Petroso, an Ag Sales Engineer at Maisie, and I will be explaining why a Maisie Venturi injector is unique and how to determine the right Maisie for your particular application. Maisie Injector Company was started over 38 years ago to serve the agricultural market. Through the years, Maisie has become a leader in mixing and contacting technologies, providing innovative solutions not only for agriculture, but for many other industries as well, including municipal and industrial water and wastewater, pool and spa, food processing, wineries, and aquarium and aquaculture. Maisie produces its injectors in a variety of sizes and material to fit each application. From the smallest half inch injectors in polypropylene or PVDF to larger 12 inch stainless steel injectors. For most agricultural applications, such as chemigation or fertigation, polypropylene or PVDF plastic injectors ranging from half inch to four inch are used. PVDF injectors are preferred when injecting materials that are corrosive, such as acids or chlorine, or abrasive, such as gypsum. Today, the injection systems used in agriculture are typically either Venturi, like the Maisie injector, or positive displacement pumps, such as diaphragm or piston pumps. The patented design of the Maisie injector includes internal mixing veins. These help ensure the thorough mixing of injected material into the water stream, generating a uniform distribution of chemicals throughout the flow. With positive deplacement pumps, on the other hand, pulses of concentrated chemical are injected into the water stream. Maisie's injectors allow for finer control of the rate of suction in the system compared to positive displacement pumps that have limited suction settings. Maisie injectors have lower maintenance requirements due to the fact that there are no moving parts to wear out. This enables the injectors to maintain an accurate rate of suction over time, whereas the displacement pump's accuracy diminishes as it wears out. Maisie injection systems are more economical even when a booster pump is used. With a Maisie, the booster pump will last longer because unlike positive displacement pump systems, only clean water runs through the booster pump in a Maisie system. And with pressurized irrigation systems, positive displacement pumps can even be dangerous. But not with a Maisie. There is no problem using an injector in a pressurized system since the material being added is under negative pressure. Now let's discuss what makes a Maisie work. Maisie injectors are high efficiency Venturi differential pressure injectors. When a sufficient pressure difference exists between the inlet and outlet ports of the injector, a vacuum is created inside the injector potty, which initiates suction through the suction port of the injector. When pressurized water enters the injector inlet, it is constricted towards the injection chamber changing it into a high velocity jet stream. The increase in velocity through the injection chamber results in a decrease in pressure, thereby enabling the additive material to be drawn through the suction port and completely mixed into the water stream. As the jet stream is dispersed towards the injector outlet, its velocity is reduced and it is reconverted into pressure energy. So the pressure exiting the injector is lower than the injector inlet pressure. The suction is greater in the injection system when the pressure differential, the difference between the inlet and outlet pressure, is larger. For example, the two injectors shown here are the same model and have the same inlet pressure of 25 psi, but they have different outlet pressures. The injector on the left has a larger pressure differential, and as you can see, it results in a larger vacuum space, shown here in red, which produces a higher suction rate of 96.7 gallons per hour. The injector on the right is small, has a smaller pressure differential, resulting in a smaller vacuum space, and thus a lower suction rate of 31.9 gallons per hour. 
This is the Maisie performance table for the injectors shown on the previous slide. Maisie performance tables are used to help size an injector for a particular application. Okay. The first column on the left shows the pressure at the inlet of the injector. This is, in this example, 15 psi. The next column in the table is the pressure at the outlet downstream of the injector. One more column over is the mode of flow, which represents how much water must flow through the injector to maintain suction. And the last column is the suction rate. On the performance tables, you will also see a number in blue parentheses. This is a zero suction point. The zero suction point is when the outlet pressure is at the point that there is no longer sufficient pressure differential to produce suction so that suction stops. To get started choosing the appropriate injector for your job, you need to answer the following questions. What is it you want to inject, a liquid or a gas? How much material do you want to inject? How much water will be going through the injector? What is the water pressure upstream of the injector? And what is the water pressure downstream of the installation of the injector? Here are a few other factors to consider which may affect the performance of an injector. The weight of the material being added. Our performance tables are based on the additive having a weight equal to water. So heavier materials such as nitrogen products will have an effect on the suction rate produced. What is the height of the material being added in relation to the location of the injector? Maisie's tables are based on the assumption that the injector and the, in and the injected material are at the same height. If the material to be injected is located above the injector, this will exert positive pressure on the suction port. And if the material being injected is located below the injector, this will require more effort to lift the material. What is the elevation of the installation? Our performance tables are calibrated at sea level. Differences in elevation will affect the performance also. And viscosity a liquid's resistance to flow. There is no formula to determine the difference in suction capacity when the added liquid has a higher viscosity than water, but the injector's suction capacity will be decreased. To obtain correction calculations for specific gravity, suction height, and elevation, check out Maisie's Technical Bulletin 1, which may be found on Maisie's website, www.maisie.net. The injector's outlet cone must remain flooded. A measurable amount of back pressure must be present for the injector to work properly. For the injector to work its best, it is recommended that some pipe extends straight out from the outlet of the injector before the pipe makes a turn. Injectors may be mounted horizontally or vertically, but when they are installed vertically, the flow should always be streaming up through the injector so the injector remains full of water. This is an example of an injector installation using the pressure reduction bypass, which utilizes a pressure regulating valve to create the required pressure differential needed for the injector to work. This is an example of a pressure reduction bypass installation using a manual valve to create the required pressure differential. This is an example of a booster pump being used to increase the pressure at the inlet of the injector to create the needed pressure differential. These are real world examples of Maisie injectors installed out in the field. To monitor suction flow, flow meters are available in different calibrated sizes to match the suction flow of Maisie injectors. To work with our half inch and three quarter inch injectors, we offer the F30 flow meter. The F30 is molded out of polycarbonate and has a 316 stainless steel float. 
It covers operating water flow ranges between 5 gallons per hour to 40 gallons per hour. For our larger injectors, 1 inch and above, we offer the F44 and F45 series of flow meters that are molded out of polysulfone. These two have a 316 stainless steel float. The operating water flow ranges of these flow meters are between 1.5 gallons per hour to 600 gallons per hour. Flow control valves, also known as metering valves, are available which enable customers to easily adjust liquid suction flow rate. For all our injectors, Maisie offers suction line kits which include a metering valve or ball valve, tubing, strainer, and clamps. In addition, Maisie has complete kits for our half inch and three quarter inch injectors that are comprised of an injector, metering valve, flow meter, tubing, strainer, and clamps. To make choosing the appropriate size injector for your application even easier, Maisie has a free online injector selector tool that walks you through the process step by step. First go to the, to the Maisie website, www.maisie.net. Then click on the injector selector icon on the left side of the page. If you're a new user to the injector selector tool, you will need to register. If you have used the pr tool previously, you can just sign in. The tool will guide you through a few steps by asking you questions such as, what is the installation method you want to use? What is, what is your system's flow and pressure? And how much additive do you want to inject? The system will then generate a recommendation for which injectors will work best for your application. If you're using a booster pump, the tool will also recommend the water horsepower of the pump needed and the boost pressure required. After computing the process, you can save your project or download a summary of the information as a PDF. You can also add comments to the summary and email it directly to your customer. And if you have questions, you can send them with the summary directly to Maisie for our review. Some of the benefits of the Maisie Injector Selector tool are, it increases the ease of the selection process. It covers all the necessary questions to size an injector for your specific application. It is a great sales tool for dealers and it is available on your computer and mobile devices. There are a couple limitations to the tool too. The tool is only for liquid injection applications, not for gas injection, and it can only be used for Maisie injectors. Other injectors simply do not perform like a Maisie. Just to reiterate, Maisie has been the leader in chemigation and fertigation for over 30 years, and sizing an injector is just one mouse click away using Maisie's injector selector tool. If you have any questions, please contact me at 661-331-6500 or email me directly at jpetroso at Thank you.